Whoa, hat man again. This is part two of our Denmark adventure during a storm warning. Yeah, we, we, we're smart. <laughs> so um, this part we went to um, Castle Rock at Pongarup. So we go to Pongarup and go to the shop and tea rooms. It's a very ornate place, isn't it? Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's quite nice. Very earthy. You uh, uh, had this great laugh at this. Yeah, it's just so random. It was just like, here's a pump. Oh, well, it's okay. And we had pies. Yeah, one of our pie tours of Denmark. It yes. Was a beautiful beef and burgundy, like, deep dish pie. It was really nice. It was good. So we had that. Then we went to the Castle Rock car park, paid out $15. Mm, oh, well. And then we went up to Castle Rock. It was two, 2.2 k's straight up. Yeah. You really felt those 2.2 k's. Yeah. So th th this shop reminds me of, this is a part where um, Sam had a new found, found respect for a mum. Yeah, it was just vertical walking for so long. It was exhausting. Yeah, Sam said, if, if mum can do it, I can do it. And <laughs> she found out just how much how hard it must have been for a mum. I feel like I started off too cocky, like I was going too fast. And I really felt bad <laughs> after a while. Yeah. And, and I, I had to clear this small twig. <laughs> There's a twig on, on, on the vein, just, you know, just have to get through this twig. Just with your arms alone. Yeah, just, just push my arms. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep, and um, and although it looks fine, it, it rained a lot. It rained a lot. The and it got rained heavy. The more slippery. Yeah. And we finally got to the top. Um, you can see um, Sammy fully in, in a rain gear. And um, we were very lucky because people had just been on top were spitting chips because they said it was completely fogged out. 100% miss, couldn't see a thing. We got there and it just fined over. Yeah. And the time was so good that you still had the mist in, in the sort of tree, so you had this nice view plus seeing the mist as well, so that was quite good. Yeah, getting from here up to the ladder thing, there was like these little metal handles and that was probably the hardest part yeah. <laughs> to get up there, especially yeah. during the wet. Anyway, so this is our sum sum summit bit. So uh, we finally got down. You, 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 were, you were freezing up there. It was so cold up there. I didn't have gloves. And so me climbing down that ladder was just like freezing cold hands on this wet ladder. So that's why I was climbing so slowly. It was wow. so cold up there. Yes, yeah, so we finally got down and we drove back. And you, you, you had a tip from a friend about... Yeah, one of my work colleagues told me, oh, this cream bun at this bakery is amazing. You have to check it out. So we went there, and they were out of cream buns, but we got some really nice pies and jam donuts and whatnot. 
We even went back the next day to get the cream buns. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so the next day was winery day. Yeah, so before winery day, we found the sacred crystal, sacred tree crystal shop. I love crystals. Got some bits and pieces. Then we did the winery tour, so we went to Rising Star Wines, Rockcliffe Wines. At Rising Star, they suggested that we went to a jar restaurant for lunch, which we did the long way around too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we backtracked to um, the Lake House Winery, then Single File, which is the most famous one or something. Or it's most... like the most well known. Yep. And then to way out to Ducket Mills Wines and Denmark Farmhouse Cheese, ba basically for the cheese. Yeah, I was keen for the cheese. Yeah. So the sacred tree, tree, um, you got some stuff. I got a fair bit of stuff for mum too, a few things for mum. Yeah, they're really nice stuff there. Really yeah. pretty. Cool. Hey, first winery was uh, Rising Star. You want to talk about her? Yeah, so when I called to ask if they were open, she w she made like the biggest impression on me. Cause she was just so passionate about talking about the wines and really excited to talk to me. And that's exactly what she was like when we were there as well. She was very passionate about talking about her wines, talking about her journey. In making the wines and whatnot and she had some really really good good wines and she also made a lot of recommendations for other places locally that were really good to check out yeah that was good and then the Rockcliffe winery yeah that one was just very simple some good wines nice scenery yeah it, it, was, it was quite large wouldn't in the area you can imagine be, there could be a lot of people there there's a restaurant there as well probably be very busy in summer the jar on Sandforth, that was a recommendation to go to. Um, it was a nice place, nice food, high ceiling and sort of a, a, a sort of fake veranda with glass around it was, it was a nice, nice thing. You walk down and, and you found this nice, really nice view looking out over Denmark. Yeah, that food was really good. Mm, it was very nice. Then we went to the, the, the lake house. The uh, lake was a bit swollen. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. We got some cute little tasting glasses. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the, the actual entry of it wasn't all that sort of thing. Um, I felt a bit like it was more about the restaurant than about the wine tasting really there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I definitely felt that. Yeah, you, you sort of felt like you, everyone's away doing the wine tasting and everyone was eating. <laughs> that's what it felt like anyway. That was the lake house, quite cute. The single file wines, um, yeah, that that was quite a, quite a, a decent size estate. Um, very very trendy looking, very nice place inside, and had this um, French woman showing us all these wines. There was quite a few people. Not normal place there was one person, but in this one there was quite a few people showing out wines. Yeah, it was well. quite busy. Quite busy, yeah. But it was, it was a very nice nice look looking place. And last one was the Ducket Mill and Cheese Factory, and. Um, I like this place because it was more, it was less trendy, more family, but still um, the wines were, they weren't fancy, but they were good. And they were sort of more about the cheese than anything else, weren't they? Yeah, and their cheese is pretty good. When we got there, they're like, we'll see if we can still get some cheese for you because we got there quite late. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, please, <laughs> yeah. get that cheese. So we, the, there was a blue, blue cheese, didn't like it too strong for me. The brie, I think you like the brie. I did like the brie. The garlic onion fromage, that was really soft. There was a sun-dried tomato feta. I don't like feta much, but it was good with the sun-dried tomatoes. The car filly was good. Uh, Pepe -pe good. I ended up buying one of those. Smoked dinner. And and Sam's favourite, because she just guts the whole lot, was the Huvati. Yeah, just no trace of it in this photo. Yeah, that's right. Long gone. It's all gone. Yeah. And um, that was the next day was a travel day going home. So we had to, have to pack up for travelling in the wet. Because so it was quite wet. Um, going home, and we stopped off at Conjunup, and it was only about 50 metres. You said, Hey, how about we stop here? Yeah, I recognised the suburb because I wanted to sit on the way down, um, and we were just happened to be right next to it when I said that. <laughs> we stopped at it, and oh, I, was, I was sort of on my own, but it turned out to be really good. Um, so, what it was about, um, it was the sort of story of three women. Um, between 1900 and 2000, obviously women, and and then and then it was from their daughters, but um, and it was a rose maze. So 
sort of massive rose garden and you started off at the edge you went round in circles and slowly got further and further in and rather than being a story it was like straight um taken straight straight from, the, from their diaries and you had snippets of their diaries going on and you sort of heard the story over over that time but it was quite good wasn't it it was really interesting because you could hear like their own opinions on things and even compare like what their lives were like at the same time in history but from three different perspectives yeah no it was pretty um just a, a quick smothering a, a quick smat smattering of the examples there's a there's a grave of guido over on the left um, one from the Italian woman in the middle. Uh, my heart is sad. I shall never see Marie again. That was a, when the, the original mum died. And one on the right, um, Charlie looking up, look, took up drinking big time then in the 50s. So Charlie was an Aboriginal guy who went off to war, come back and like so many, didn't get any sort of post-traumatic stress treatment and ended up drinking a lot in pubs. And he read a lot about the sort of the, the, the uh, discrimination and stuff like that it's from, from first hand it was, it was it was a really good um good storyline yeah, and the left you can see that guido he actually died from the spanish flu which is which is quite ironic we're going there in a pandemic and he died from the spanish flu so that was quite ironic yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we got back and we had to do a few all these but um that was our trip so what, what was your favorite bit my favourite bit was probably the snorkeling in Greens Pool. The fish was so cool. And because of the heavy like waves pulling me in, like the fish were being pulled out as well, so I saw way more than I normally would. And then I had to try really hard to have a balance between like being a friendly person that's not scaring them, um, but also getting close enough to see them. Yeah, they were really, really cool. Yeah. What, what I liked about the trip was um, the sheer variety of things we did. And despite the fact there was a storm warning the whole time, we went from a, from a full on adventure of let's think about where we're going, full driving, trying to find someone like that there, to just going around what winery. So we had a really big spread of adventures. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Okay, thanks, Em.